Alright, so welcome everybody to my Mafia 3 playthrough. Finally, it's October 7th, 2016, and Mafia 3 is finally out. I just installed the game. It's still installing, obviously, but it's 95%, so I figured that should be good. I did kind of a preemptive stream thing before. Like, I haven't stopped streaming, but I'm actually going to start the YouTube playthrough now. I wish there was like a mini game you could play or something while you're doing, while you're waiting for this to load. Maybe like a little mini game or something. At least like a slideshow. If they had like a slideshow, it'd be awesome. This music is really good though. I like it. This is some good ass music. Here we go. Check additional content, which I have the kickback pack. We'll do it on medium. Aim assist high. Just in case. Just in case my aim is horrible. Alright. We're in 1968. New Bordeaux, Louisiana. Which is basically New Orleans. Basically a recreation of New Orleans. Post Vietnam era. See now this is the slideshow I was talking about. See this is what I wanted to see earlier. Well, the Bayou. Mafia 3 takes place in a fictionalized version of the American South in 1968. We sought to create an authentic and immersive experience that captures this very turbulent time and place, including depictions of racism. We find the racist beliefs, language, and behavior of some characters in the game abhorrent, but believe it is vital to include, include these depictions in order to tell Lincoln Clay's story. Most importantly, we felt that not to include this very real and shameful part of our past, would have been offensive to the millions who faced and still face bigotry, discrimination, prejudice. Ah, oh, I didn't get a chance to finish it, but... Basically, yeah, they wanted to have, like, an authentic experience for the game, but they didn't want to leave anything out. They wanted a really mature and, you know, experience of what it was in the 60s. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux, safe, family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. There we go, Mafia 3. Nice little intro there. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. Mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white. Maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. So when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He's a quiet boy. Good boy. Two purple hearts, the bronze star, and the distinguished service cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. Can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home, always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you 
never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. And he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. Breaks my heart. New Bordeaux, Louisiana, February 27th, 1968, Mardi Gras. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grab the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. All right, I can move. Keys in the other room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. I have to cover behind a, in front of a barrel here. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came mm -hmm. through with the truck just mm -hmm. like we asked. Mm -hmm. We agreed to partner mm -hmm. to make it look good. Mm -hmm. You got doubts, mm -hmm. so I'll take the mm -hmm. chance. Oh, I mean to shoot the gun. Get, Damn it. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Ah, first taste of the music. When I'm playing the game, I'm not going to turn it off, but I'm probably going to take it out of the game when I actually do my playthrough on YouTube. Because I'm probably going to get freaking copyright strikes up the ass, so. Ah, damn it. Oh, yeah, you got the keys. Always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use them to get everybody's attention, then you just slip away. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? So, come on, you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... We're on the coast of Quang Nai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. That's fucked up. Hey, man, you asked. Well, I mean, yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goof getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, <laughs> God damn. It's not a fault. It's not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. I love the look of the city, it's awesome. I almost crashed into a car. Oh crap. at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. 
Alright, we made it. I didn't do the good I thought I was gonna do in that beginning sequence. I suck at driving. Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, I ain't like I've never been called nigger before. I nah, know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. Yeah, at least he's cool about it. He understands the situation. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Man, he's got a shotgun. I want that shotgun. I don't want this puny little pistol. Right, here we go. Give me that shit, buddy. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Hey, Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. We're not going anywhere till you grab that money, son. Oh. Okay. I was like, what the hell? I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get it off the truck, duh. Wasn't thinking. I was just enjoying the scenery. I wonder if he could run in the game. I'm pretty sure he can. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One last goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Fine rooms down in the cellar. This way. <laughs> I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a god fearing white man can't get a job. It ain't your nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. Hey, what you call me? Just punch him with a bag of money. Hey, Lincoln, you blew our cover. You bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. Yeah, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. All right. Just call me Mr. Moneybags. Put those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flight. There you go. Silence, yeah, stealth, kill. Asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> there you go. Grab the body. I'm gonna see. Can I put him in the fire? Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on. Oh, damn it! I know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, right stick to crouch, that's different. Usually it's the, usually it's the left stick to crouch. Then A ain't cover, I already did that before. Alright, 
to a 30-day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. Oh, right in the head. Switching weapons. Hold LB or press LB. Yeah, look at that. This combination skeleton guys is legit. Well, I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Like what? This is where shit goes down. God damn it! You triggered the fucking alarm? Shit! I didn't notice this cage was on a different system. All right, we're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, we're gonna pull this off. Defend Georgie. I had some ammo. I don't see any around here. I wasted it all. I might have to go around and sneak them. side. Oh. Use adrenaline. I don't have any though. I will take this though. I have no ammo on that, so I'm off taking the shotgun. Goddamn, we shall kick the hornet's nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Give me that damn thing. Ah, lock pulling. Close the lock, rotate the left stick until it's in the green zone, and then press X. Pull the lock. Press X when the indicator is in the green zone.
Oh, there we go. It's not hard. Ooh, what is this? Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't be shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. I, I already took them all out. All over the place. And one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. A week before Mardi Gras. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't, they don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. Sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Me and how this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your car. Hmm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Mm. Set route. Press the three line button to open the map and then press A at your destination. Then we're going to select the mission. And you gotta get to drive to Sammy's bar. Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. You gotta the traffic laws in this game or the police will get you. Well, that's close. The police will attack you if you commit crimes, act suspiciously, or break traffic laws within range of their awareness. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want some. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. 
I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around aside, that was pretty serious shit. Ooh, the guys over in Nam nice running, jump. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with.